Alleluia Ministries International is a Bible-believing and Christ-centered church. We believe Jesus Christ is the same yesterday, today, and forevermore. His power is still at work in the church today, just as it was in the time of the Bible. We are AMI. Ignorance is the worst disease ever. We know how to see. We know how to preach. This is a presentation of Alleluia Ministries International. The apostles say now concerning spiritual gift, brethren, I do not want you to be ignorant. Now, he's dealing with something specific. He's dealing with spiritual gift. And he begins by saying, I do not want you to be ignorant. Because he's addressing a specific crowd. He wanted this crowd to be informed. He wanted this crowd to be different than the others. Knowledge empowers you. What you know empowers you. What you do not know will kill you. So he has probably seen that in the sector you want to endeavor in, many people are not really acquainted with. Therefore, he say, I want you to be different than them. I don't want you to be ignorant. Let me tell you, being ignorant when it comes to spiritual gift is common currency in our generation. Many people in the body of Christ have very little knowledge on spiritual gift. We know how to sing. We know how to preach. We have memorized verses. We know how to jump. But when it comes to spiritual gift, many of us are ignorant. And often we reject what we do not know. We reject what we do not understand. Where you are, if you cannot master your environment, you naturally have a feeling of insecurity. You feel insecure where you do not have control. And knowledge gives you control. When you have knowledge, you have control. You are calm. You are secure. If you are in the plane... And you know that no way this plane will not just fall. You will be relaxed. You'll be watching TV, watching a movie, reading a book, or even having a meal. But if it's your first time flying, and that you have very little knowledge about flying, every second will be a trauma. You'll feel like this thing will fall anytime. You are insecure. Why? Because you do not know. Many of us reject naturally what we do not know. There is an uproar when the gift of the Holy Ghost begins to manifest in the church is often because many people do not know it. Many people read of it, but do not know that it is still possible today. They feel like walking on the water was a one story stored in the volume of the scripture that Jesus did it. And nobody else can do that. They heard that uh, Jesus Christ opened the eyes of the blind. They preach it, they speak it. But you see, they are not really informed that that is reality today. They are ignorant. My father sitting here kept on telling me, don't you ever suffer of the worst disease of mankind. I said, daddy, which one is it? He said, Ignorance. Ignorance is the worst disease ever. My people, says the Lord, perish because of lack of knowledge. Ignorance does not justify you. Oh, well, I did not know. You are not justified because you did not know. Ignorance will kill you. 
That's why allow the light of God to shine through your spirit with the word, the word of our living God. Now, the apostle is getting ready to release some stuff to the people. It begins by addressing ignorance in a specific area of life in the Holy Ghost. Why only they? He believed that the body of Christ will not be able to stand effectively unless the light of God shines in the spirit in a matter concerning spiritual gift. You see, family, many of us have natural gifts. We have skills and talents. Those are natural ability given to us to be able to function effectively in various assignments of life. A soccer player who has good skills and had a natural talent will be a good soccer player and you'll make a great career out of it. Why? Because through your talent and through your skills, you are able to shine. But the same applies in the spiritual realm. In the spiritual realm, you do not just need skills, meaning natural skills, or talent. I'm referring to natural talent. You need gifts that are spiritual. The gifts of the Spirit are God's ability given to you to operate like Him. Certain section of life. God borrows you his level of operation. He gives it to you. When you operate in the gift of the Spirit, please understand, you are not just active spiritually. Many of us understood that what is spiritual is invisible, but that we do not have a break. We fail to have a break in our understanding or embracing of this knowledge that what is spiritual is invisible. We begin to think that uh, when God speaks of the spiritual, it is merely something we cannot see, something that is abstract. What is abstract is spiritual. What is concrete is not spiritual. No, there is substance in understanding that what is spiritual here, the spiritual gift, is a true ability that God gives a man. That man begins to operate like God. That's what the Bible says. God gives you faith, not natural faith. This faith is not the first faith that God imparts or deposits on every believer. It's also not the faith that you grow to acquire through the reading of the word because faith coming from hearing and hearing the word of God. No, this is not that. The gift of faith is God's ability to believe himself that he borrows you. Suddenly you believe in God beyond any mind, beyond any understanding. He helps you believe him. It's a form of cheating, but it's not really cheating. <laughs> because you see, everybody's believing God because they're red. But your believing is, you, you just know that God will do it like a child. You know he's able to do. And he's speaking about the gift of healing. You must understand the gift of healing is God's ability to heal. You begin to do things that go, goes beyond the understanding of man. Healing for you becomes like a joke. The person stands from a wheelchair. They brought to us, you know the story, a person who was paralyzed for 15 years. Long coma, 15 years. They brought the person here. And it took less than five seconds. The person was walking. They say, you tricked it. The person was running. How? How do you do that? Those who do not know God have one conclusion. The devil is operating. And that those with little minds, slow in understanding, undeveloped, Mind, say, you tricked it. This guy was not really paralyzed for 15 years. All the way in 15 years, he was pretending for 15 years. 
Because you know why? When the gift operates, sometimes you do not need the choir to get something happen. It's <sighs> and here the least gift, God's ability in a certain area, it gives it to you. When it gives it to you, you are him in that area. <laughs> Somebody, you are going to the greatest shock of your life. <laughs> I read this with you. I read this with you. Please understand this. I know right now you are trying to understand it and saying, oh Lord, is that really true? If it's true, then it's bigger than me. Yes, it is bigger than you. It is bigger than me. It is by the grace of God. God is about to do something that you in your natural ability cannot fulfill by yourself. It will take God's help. And I'm here to prophesy that the help is on its way. Now concerning spiritual grief, brethren, I would not have you ignorant. You know that when you were pagans, meaning without God, you were often led astray by speechless idols. However, they, you were led. Meaning, he's trying to tell them now that you are in God, things have to be different. Before, you were led by speechless idols. The church of God must see the difference between before and after. Before and after. Before and after. Before and after. I'm prophesying on somebody. There will be a before now and after now. There will be a before now and after now. Who am I speaking to? Ah, you did not catch this. I said there shall be a before now and after now. In your finances, there shall be a before now and after now. In your business, there shall be a before now and after now. In your marriage, in your family, in your relationship, there shall be a before now. If you were blessed by this video, be sure to subscribe to our channel. You can catch Pastor Arflo Kao on AMI TV on the public bouquet or on our live stream on AMITV.com. You can follow Pastor Arflo Kao on all social media platforms at Arflo Kao.